Greetings everyone, Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. So, um, I grabbed a little bit of information from PromisesBehavioralHealth.com. Um, what the topic I'm going to talk about, it was a movie, right? Um, and it was actually recently turned into another movie. Uh, but basically single white female, right? It's a 1992 thriller based on a novel by John Lutz. And recently, 2022, I believe on Netflix, um, there is a black single female movie, um, similar premise. And um, it's just, of course, black actors and actresses as opposed to white actors and actresses, but still the same concept right which is basically known as a triple threat um, it's someone who has a combination of sociopathy narcissism and borderline personality disorder um, people with this condition are can be very charming um, and they scam others into trusting them before disappearing with money property or their love well, their hearts, right? They leave this person heartbroken, um, or at least disappointed, right? Um, if you've seen either one of those movies, you know that um, it didn't really end well, right? Um, a lot can go on with someone who has that type of personality, and it's because of their mindset and how they approach the, the situation. Um, it's really uh, one of the things, this is a type of personality, uh, antisocial personality disorder, and having characteristics such as disregard for the right and feelings of others, right? Um, this person, um, if they feel like they don't have any use for anymore, then they'll become dismissive or distant um, and not in a healthy way. Because sometimes we have to distance ourselves from people because of it's healthier, right? Um, this person may also have delusions of grandeur, and that's why they feel like you have no rights or they have no disregard for you because they have delusions of grandeur or grandiosity. They lack empathy empathy, and think it's all about them and what they want, right? So they don't care about you or your feelings. They just want to drain you dry, get what they can get, and then move on and do the same thing to someone else. Um, they enjoy being the center of attention. They're usually vain and very arrogant as well. Um, this person also has the borderline personality disorder, which results in unstable relationships. They have some out of control mood swings, like it's irrational um, or dramatic. Um, and they exhibit fear of rejection behaviors um, and self destructive behaviors, like, you know, being an alcoholic or using drugs. Um, and of course these behaviors can not only be self-destructive but also they can be very destructive to the people around them depending on how they show up in this person's life um but this is what i can also refer to as like the copycat syndrome so this person again if you've seen the movie these women basically took on the identity of the person that they were harassing or stalking Right? They, they wore their clothes, they wore the same kind of wig or the same kind of makeup, um, would steal things from this person, whether it be ideas or clothing, um, really trying to become this person or at least copy the behaviors or ideas or concept that this person is about so that they can get the type of attention um, this person is it has because for them in a way it's all about getting attention and taking the attention from someone else and putting it onto themselves by trying to copy this behavior and it's very toxic um, if you're around someone who exhibits these behaviors um, you can do your best to manage it um, but sometimes it's best if you just distance yourself from this person um, because it could end up 
being very extremely toxic and someone could be you know seriously hurt by this um, not even just heartbreak break um, but sometimes if you're not able to control um, how you respond or if someone's not able to control how they respond it could lead into an, an altercation whether it be a verbal altercation or a physical altercation and of course those both of those movies represent the extreme but these things can happen depending on who um, it's directed towards. They try, typically try to tr target people that they think won't do anything. They, they typically try to target like kind-hearted people that they think won't notice or they think won't do anything. Um, but you never know what a person notices or doesn't notice or you never know what a person will or won't do. Right? Some people assume that this person is too, too stupid or naive to understand exactly what's going on, but that's not always the case. Um, sometimes people are paying attention and they do know. And then once, you know, if you are the type of person who does notice it and you distance yourself from this person, they pretend as if they don't know why. Or they make up lies to make it seem like it must be for another reason. And they pretend as if they didn't do anything. Right? They, 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 they do their best to maintain that they were so innocent and they have no idea why um, you would not want to be bothered with them anymore because they're not telling the truth. They're not telling the truth to themselves and they're not telling the truth to others because they assume that nobody knows. They're assuming that their behavior is going unnoticed when it's very obvious. Um, especially as people elevate higher and they're more energetically connected, they're empathic. People know what's going on. They, people aren't completely oblivious um, to these behaviors. Um, and one of the reasons I decided to share this with you is because I, I have been that object of, um, of attack. I don't know what other word. I, I can't think of another word to use right now. And it, and it may not be like it's a physical attack. It could be, it's it's an, an emotional uh, attack. It's a mental attack. And it can be verbal. Um, and not verbal that this person is yelling or, or using profane language. But still, they may say charming things like, oh, I love you. Or you're great. Um, and they know that they don't mean it. <laughs> Um, so again, that could be mentally and emotionally um, challenging for someone who may actually believe those words or who may actually want to believe that, those words. And then when they find out it's not true, they can become devastated. And really, again, this, th this person was just um, trying to charm this person into believing that they're an honest person who... Um, really has their best interest at heart, which is complete opposite of what's true. So just be mindful of this because this is not something that just happens in movies. Um, again, this person may try to like, if for example, if you're on social media, this person may create a whole channel in private or in secret and actually repeat what you do, right? Um, which they can only do if they have access to you. So that's why I said sometimes you just have to completely distance yourself and not give this person access so that they can't, so that they'll basically not be able to see what you're doing and won't be able to copy the behavior and won't really try to assume your identity and become who you are um, just for the attention, just for the likes um, or whatever it is that they see in you that they don't see in themselves and that they're not willing to work on within themselves. This person is, is needs to heal. Um, and unless and until they, they heal, again, they'll just find another victim that they think is too naive to understand what's going on. Um, but we are in the age of Aquarius, so the truth is coming out about a lot of things. And certain things that, certain behaviors that people were maybe willing to put up with before, they're not so willing to put up with now. And some people don't feel the need to explain to you, you know what you're doing. Nine times out of ten, this person knows what they're doing. They just think you don't know. <laughs> so again, if they're, they're not honest about it, they're just lying to themselves and everyone else as if they really don't know what's going on when deep down inside they know exactly what they're doing, right? 
And so again, if you have someone who won't even admit the truth and is not willing to heal so that they can be the best version of themselves and not trying to be the best version of someone else, you know, it's sometimes it isn't you can't rationalize with them because even if you approach them about it, they'll just deny it and then switch up their strategy and start doing it a different way. Because this has happened to me several times, so I'm familiar with this behavior, right? And um, it can be very uncomfortable and it can be very, very challenging and it can be very disappointing because again, this person really comes in as a friend, like they really have your best interest at heart when really they only are interested in themselves and in their own interest. All right, that's the end. I hope that this was helpful. I love y'all. Until next time. Later. Mwah.